Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a very pretty stitch in my opinion. I could see this stitch being used in all sorts of things from shawls and wraps to uh, blankets, maybe even a christening blanket, um, a scarf, cowl. There's just so many uses for this stitch. It's very versatile. This stitch is called the fan and V stitch. So this is the stitch that we're going to learn uh, today and I'm so happy that you've joined me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to update it weekly with free crochet patterns and tutorials. So for the stitch today, it has worked in five different steps before you begin the repeat. And you're going to want to start with a uh, foundation chain that has a multiple of eight stitches plus one. And then for that foundation chain, you're going to add one more stitch. So start by making your slip knot. And today for the tutorial, I will be chaining 18, so a multiple of 8 plus 1, and then plus 1 more for my foundation chain. Seven, eight, nine. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So I'm just going to be working a small swatch, but again, you can change uh, the length of your foundation chain to whatever you would like. For step one, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook. So you'll count in one, two, and just single crochet in that stitch. Next, you will work, you will skip three uh, chain stitches. So one, two, three, and then you're going to work in that next stitch, nine double crochet stitches. So for your double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in that next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two more. So you're going to do work another eight of those for a total of nine double crochet stitches, all in the same chain. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Next, you will uh, skip the next three chains. So sometimes that next chain is gonna get a little wonky from your nine to the chain before it. So you're gonna count one, two, and then three, and then you're going to single crochet in the next chain. And now you're going to repeat. Skip the next three, one, two, three, and then work nine double crochet stitches in that next chain. Number six, seven, eight, and nine. So you're going to continue that, skip three chains, single crochet, skip three more, work nine double crochet chains. You're going to continue that all the way to the end of your foundation chain. At the end, you'll have uh, worked nine double crochet stitches, then you'll skip three and then you're going to single crochet in your final stitch. And that is the end of row one. For row three, you're going to chain, th uh, for row two, sorry, you're going to chain three, which will count as a double crochet stitch, and you're going to turn your work. You will now double crochet in that same stitch. So at the base of your foundation chain, you have that single crochet there, and you're going to double crochet in that stitch. Next, you will chain five. One, two, three, four, 
five. You're going to skip your nine double crochets and you're going to work a V stitch in the next single crochet. To work your V stitch, you're going to work one double crochet in that single crochet stitch. Chain one and work one more double crochet in that same single crochet stitch. So in that one stitch, you'll have a double crochet, chain one and double crochet. You're then going to chain five and repeat that all the way across. When you come to the end of your row, you will skip the nine double crochet stitches and you will work two double crochet stitches in your final single crochet. And that is the end of row two. For row three, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and you're going to turn your work. You are then going to work four double crochet stitches in that first stitch. So at the base of that foundation chain, you have your first double crochet stitch. You're going to work four more double crochet stitches. So you'll have a total of five. Just like that. And then you are going to single crochet in the fifth double crochet of that cluster of nine that you had two rows below. So in your uh, group of nine double crochet stitches, count in five, one, two, three, four, five. And then in that fifth stitch, working over top of your chain five, you're going to work a single crochet. So in that fifth double crochet, insert your hook, you're going to have that chain five in between, yarn over and pull through and finish your single crochet stitch. So what you'll have is you'll have it working right over top of that chain and into the double crochet below. Next, you are going to nine, uh, work nine double crochet stitches all in the center of that V stitch. So traveling over to your V stitch in that chain one space, work nine double crochet stitches. four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You're going to count across that the cluster of nine double crochets down below. Count to your fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. In the top of that fifth one, insert your hook. You're going to work over top of the chain five above it and single crochet. You are now going to repeat that. So double crochet through the center, nine double crochets through the center of your V-stitch. Single crochet in the top of the fifth, next fifth double crochet all the way down to the end of your foundation chain when you come to the uh, or to the end of your row when you come to the end of your row you're going to work five double crochet stitches in the top of that first turning chain so there's one two three four and five. And that brings you to the end of row three. For row three, you're going to start by chaining three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and you're going to turn your work. You are then going to skip the first five double crochet, and you're going to work a V stitch in the next single crochet stitch. So work one double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet all in the same single crochet. You will then chain five, skip the next nine double crochet stitches, and work a V stitch in your next single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across 
to your final set of five double crochet stitches. And when you come to that um, final uh, five double crochet stitches, you're going to chain two, and you're going to end with a slip stitch in that beginning chain three. force my hook in there and just end with a slip stitch and that brings you to the end of row four for row five you're going to chain one and you're going to turn now you're going to work a single crochet stitch over top of that slip stitch so that slip stitch is actually going to act kind of like our, uh, our almost like the chain five below so you are uh, before so you're going to just insert your hook under that slip stitch work one single crochet stitch you're then going to work nine double crochet through the center of your V stitch two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine. You're going to skip the next five double crochet in that set down uh, of nine down below. So one, two, three, four, five. And in that fifth one, you're going to work a single crochet over top of your chain five. And then you're going to repeat nine double crochet through the center of your v-stitch five six seven eight and nine and then when you come to the end of your row, you're going to work one single crochet stitch in the top of that chain three. So over top, uh, not in the chain three of the row below, but the one down underneath of it. So two rows below, you're going to work one single crochet stitch. And that is the end of row five. So you've now completed all the steps for your pattern. From here on end, you're simply going to repeat steps two to five. So step two was the one where you began with your chain three and you turned and then you double crocheted in that first stitch, chain five, skip nine, and then V-stitch in the next single crochet. So you're going to start there at row, row two and repeat rows two to five all the way through for the remainder of your pattern for however long you would like your material to be. There you have it, that is a fan and V stitch. Thank you so much for joining me for this video tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel which I like to update weekly and I look forward to seeing you again. Happy crocheting, bye.